there, let's go back to 2008. Wow. There was a you motive. You go back that far? Chris? You're going to. Okay. Because right. that's where this all started. Yeah, it is. How? Well, you got this rookie politician that had never, ever dreamed about being a mayor before, and suddenly I find myself, uh, gee, you've got to run a, a, a public works department and an IT department and a fire department and the police department, and I quickly had to learn just what do these people do. Uh, spent quite a bit of time with the cops uh, on the street, you know, learning while sitting in the cars, what do these guys do? And I kept coming across the same thing where they would encounter uh, a juvenile, uh, a troubled family, uh, and often these cops would say to me, Andy, uh, look, there's uh, so-and-so, 10 years old, just a matter of time, and he's in trouble. The, the cops have a feel for that. My question was, well, what are we going to do about it? And they said, well, nothing. And I'll never forget Brian Sawa over here at Washington Woods School, a counselor. Uh, he said to me, uh, Mayor, if we could address these troubled youth, our teachers could get back to teaching. And that just really struck me. So then you went, to the, we created the Westfield Youth Assistance Program, but you needed a way to help fund this, correct? We did, because we really, we started, we wanted to, we wanted to prove two things. One, Government tends to treat problems. Rarely do we try to prevent problems. And I was absolutely challenged with, can we prevent youth from getting in trouble? And secondly, if we're going to do this, can we keep it as far out of government as possible? So from, from the first yellow tie gala that you had to the one that was recently <laughs> held. Yeah. I'll bet you were just, you couldn't believe the, dis, the, the difference between you, first and last. Oh, uh, uh, I don't even remember the first one, but it seems to me that if we could raise twenty or $30,000, we were thrilled to death. Uh, in this past year, we raised uh, over $200,000. And these are all just donations from some businesses, yes, but from a lot of money from our citizens. What good will that $200,000 do? Well, what it does is it, it, it funds uh, the, really uh, the what we call our, inter, our early intervention advocates. They are our professional social workers that take uh, at-risk kids, as referred primarily from the schools, uh, they meet with the, the family or what's left of a family, unfortunately, in many cases. Uh, they, they give them a professional evaluation. And you might keep in mind, this is all voluntary. These, these students, they do not have to participate in this program. Uh, and we work with the, the, the schools uh, to uh, uh, evaluate the situation. Every situation is different. And I like to say this, we don't have a magic potion that we wave over this child and say, you're now fixed. It's a matter of hooking that child up with the right resources such that could put him back on a productive track. And those resources continue to grow. I mean, it, it could be uh, a, get a kid in scouts, uh, get him in a boys and girls club. Uh, some, a lot of times we put kids into sports and they can't afford soccer shoes. We provide them with soccer shoes. We send them to summer camps uh, at no cost using our donations. And we've literally turned the lives around of hundreds and hundreds of kids just here in Westfield. But remember, we don't have that big a problem. It's a good investment, isn't it? We think it's a huge investment. And it's, it's a challenge to really to, to, to market in a sense because it's very difficult to prove what you have prevented. One last question for you. Yellow tie, what's the significance there? <laughs> well, as uh, many of our citizens now know, I have a defect. You have one particular one. I do. I don't see colors the same way you do, and the only one color that I can distinctively identify is yellow. So therefore... 
Uh, many, many things that I have, such as my phone and my house and my Jeep, they are all yellow. So in pure jest, instead of a black tie gala, it's all yellow. And people have a ball with it. They come up with yellow shoes and yellow socks and yellow ties and it's just fun. So yellow is stuck and so is the Westfield Youth Assistance Program and we're happy for both, Mayor. It's been the best thing out of the many things this city has accomplished. It's been the absolute, the best thing we've ever done. Mayor Cook, thank you for your time today and we'll see you next Monday. Very good, Chris, thank you.